Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be decluttering my eyeshadow palettes. Um, I have a lot and I need to get rid of them. Some of my drawers are kind of overflowing. So I figured now would be a good time to go through them. So I have one drawer, sorry my dog's in here, she's playing with her toy. I have one drawer over here and then four drawers on the other side. Um, but figured we would just start down here. So literally all of these drawers are overflowing, it's ridiculous. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of this stuff in the back. So we have three of these like magnetic palettes. So I have like my blues and browns and greens and these are a mix of ColourPop and Makeup Geek. Then I have all of my warm tones. I should go through these because like I don't use a lot of them. I could get rid of a lot, but. And then pinks and purples. Then we have the rest of my ColourPop palettes here. So we have the Disney Designer Collection. I do really enjoy this palette. We have the Dream Street Kathleen Lights and ColourPop palette. I've considered getting rid of this so many times, but every time I do, I use it. And I'm like, no, I really like it. I'll keep it. Then we have the Midnight Masquerade palette. Really like this one as well. The Sweet Nothings palette, Element of Surprise, and then we have the Ooh La La pink palette, the It's My Pleasure palette, and then lastly the Lilac You A Lot palette. Alright, and then these are more. Z palettes. So this bottom one we have Inglot, which I never ever use because I feel like it's missing some deep shades, but I need to use this. I literally haven't ever dipped into most of these, um, but I need to need to use that. Then we have, this is like overflow of my pink and purple shadows. Then we have, this is overflow of like the neutral shadows, kind of pastel-ish shades. Where's my, oh, here it is. And then this is my like neutral, like favorite everyday Z palette. Then we have Give Me Glow Cosmetics. Their formula is so good. I love, love, love their shadows. And then I have the Vintage Rose palette from them as well. So keeping all of those, However, I am going to get rid of some of these. So I have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault. Um, and I've been keeping them all just because I want to keep the collection together. But that's kind of stupid. So we have Armed and Gorgeous. I have never even touched this. And I really am not a fan of like super orangey warm tones. Which is why I haven't used this. So I'm going to get rid of it. Then we have the Ring the Alarm palette. I think I might get rid of that one. Let's see. Dark Magic, I think I want to keep this one for now, and then Bling Boss, I definitely want to keep. Um, Yeah, I kind of want to keep this, but I think I'm going to get rid of it because she does have a lot of similar shades in her bigger palette, and this still has a lot of those really orangey shades, so I think I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm just going to include the box with it when I get rid of it. Um, by the way, anything I'm getting rid of will be on my Poshmark, so I will have that link down below if you are interested. Okay, I don't know where to put these for now. All right, this is the Morphe 15B Brunch Babe palette. I do really enjoy this palette, but it's not one I reach for. If I'm going for a neutral palette, this is not the one I grab, so I'm going to get rid of that. <clears throat> then I have this MAC. It doesn't have a name. It just says eyeshadow. I'm actually going to get rid of these. I haven't been super impressed by my MAC shadows lately. I don't know. Um, okay, then we have the Makeup Revolution Emily Edit the Once palette. This isn't my favorite palette, but it's not bad. So I am going to hang on to this, and I love Emily. The NYX Swear By It palette. I'm going to continue to hang on to this as well. And then the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This is not going anywhere. Where's my clear plastic with the names? I don't know. Anyway, this is not going anywhere. 
But then we have the Morphe 24G Grand Glam. So I do really love this palette. I love all the pinky tones in here, but I never use it. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm also going to get rid of this one. This is the 39S Such a Gym palette. But first of all, it is huge. <laughs> and so for that reason, it's in the bottom of my drawer and I don't ever pull it out. But it's super pretty. Like, I love these pinks and purples. But I've used it, I think, twice because I just don't pull it out of the bottom of my drawer. And I don't really have a better way to store it. And palettes that are that big honestly kind of intimidate me. I don't really know where to start. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, let's put these back in here. All right. This Revolution Soap X Extra Spice Palette. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this. It's a little too warm tone for me. Then we have the original Soap X Palette. I am going to keep this one, though. I do like this. This is more my, my vibe. Then we have the Emily Edit The Needs palette. I'm also going to hang on to that. Then from Profusion, we have the Infatuation palette. This is like one of my favorite palettes of all time, and it's a $10 palette from Target. Um, so definitely going to hang on to that. This Sienna's one, though, I do love it. I feel like the Profusion quality of eyeshadows is incredible, and they're $10 a palette, which is just insane. But it's super similar to the Sephora Pro Warm Palette. I mean, they definitely have their differences, but since I'm not a huge warm palette fan, um, there's no reason for me to keep both, and if I'm gonna reach for one, it's gonna be the Sephora one, so I'm going to pass on the Profusion one. All right, that is it for this drawer, so we are going to go ahead and move on to the other side of my desk. Okay, we're on the other side of my desk now. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bottom drawer since I have the camera already set up for a bottom drawer so also this side is going to be a lot harder for me to see the viewfinder but we are going to figure it out as we go all right so in the back of this drawer i have most of my well all of my pat mcgrath palettes and then a few other things over here so this is the laura mercier eye artist palette um i bought this because laura lee is that her? No, not Laura Lee. Laura. What is her name? What is her new two name? I know her name's Laura. Whatever. She talks about this palette all the time. And it convinced me to buy it. And it's not a bad palette. Like, it looks really pretty just looking at it. But I just feel like most of the mattes and really the shimmers don't come off very pigmented at all. Um, so it's not one that I really reach for. So I am going to declutter that. All right, then from Carity, we have the Picante, Picante palette. I've already decluttered the Rosé All Day palette from them. I do like this one more. However, I don't reach for it because, one, it's bigger than I like, and then this whole middle row, at least the mattes, are, like, the types of warm, warm tones that I don't like on me. Same with these, like, mustardy yellow tones I don't really like on me, so I usually only use this bottom row and then some of the light shades or, like, a gold shimmer, so it's just not really worth keeping. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that on. Then we have the Kat Von D Lolita palette. This one isn't bad. Um, I just have other like pinky purple palettes I prefer more, so I'm going to get rid of that. All right, then from Laura Lee, we have the Cat's Pajamas palette. I'm going to keep this. And the Nudie Patootie palette. I'm also going to hang on to this one. Then from Persona, we have the Identity Palette. I really like this one. They are really amazing shadows, so definitely going to keep that. Then we have this Make It Forever Lustrous Shadow Palette. I go back and forth on this one a lot, but every time I pull it out to use it, I really fall in love with it again, so I'm going to keep that. All right, these Pat McGrath palettes. So we have the Bronze Ambition Palette. I'm going to keep this. Then we have the Lavi and Rose palette. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Well, I do really love pinks and purples. You've seen I've already kept several, and there are several more in my collection that I will be keeping. And I don't know why I just don't reach for my Pat McGrath shadows. They're great quality. 
obviously, but I just don't reach for them. I don't know. So I am actually going to put that on my Poshmark. I hate how these, like, one side is heavier than the other and bigger than the other because they don't stand up. They drive me insane. Okay, then we have the Platinum Bronze Palette. I'm going to hang on to this one for now. Then we have the Dark Star. Mm. This is one I could see myself getting rid of in the future, but I'm going to keep for now. And then we have the Bronze Temptation, which I'm going to keep. And then this one is the Metal Morphosis. I'm going to get rid of this. They're all shimmers, and while the quality is amazing and they're really, really great, I don't reach for an all shimmer palette, so I'm going to pass that on. And then I do have one big palette. This is the Mothership One. I keep it in its packaging because nowhere on here says the original name. So we have this, and I'm going to hang on to that. All right, and then the row in front, I don't know that I'm going to get rid of any of these. So this is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I hate the packaging on his stuff. It's, like, just so annoying. Like, I get that he's trying to be different, but it's so bulky and difficult. I just wish it was in a simple cardboard packaging. But I do love the quality of his shadows. So I'm going to keep this... Then from Jeffree Star, we have the Thirsty Palette. I do actually really love this, and he has, I think, discontinued that, so I'm going to keep that. Okay, then I have a Z Palette of all Anastasia Singles. I thought I had, yeah, I do have one more Jeffree Star Palette. This is the Beauty Killer Palette, so I'm going to keep that as well. All right, and then all my Anastasia Palettes. There's a lot. All right, we have the Modern Renaissance. Definitely keeping Soft Glam. Definitely keeping this Prism one. It's so pretty, but I just look at this and I'm not inspired. Like, you would think you would be because it's super unique, but I just don't know where to go with this. I think I'm going to pass that one on because I never, ever use it. Then we have the Norvina palette, definitely keeping that one. The Sultry palette, definitely keeping. Carly Bible. Riviera. This is another one I could see myself getting rid of in the future, but I want a little bit more time with it. I do really like it, I just don't wear colorful looks that often. And then the Master Palette by Mario. This is not going anywhere. I wish you would release this Lula shade and the Marina shade as singles, and then I could get rid of this, but I love it so much. Then I have one KKW palette. This was her, I think, first palette, the one she did with Mario. I do really like this palette as well. And then we have my Dominique Cosmetic palettes. This is Celestial Thunder. This came in a boxy charm. Her big one is called Celestial Storm, I think. I don't think you can buy this one individually. Um, but I love the Dominique Cosmetics formula as well. Berries and Cream. I think that's my favorite one from her. This is the original Latte palette. I don't have the Latte too. And then Rustic Glam. So definitely keeping all of those. All right, we didn't do too great in this drawer, but I think the next drawer might be better. We'll see. All right, so the next drawer up holds Natasha Denona and then a bunch of random stuff. So again, not really even sure where to begin. So we have this Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions. I have never touched this. I'm going to pass that on. And then the neon pink one. I have used this, but I don't love it. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, I'm keeping all of my Natasha Denona minis. This is the mini Lila. This is the mini Glam. This one's my favorite. We have the mini Sunset. And then this one is the Cranberry Palette. And then I have the Urban Decay Naked Basics. I think that's the second one. I don't know. It doesn't say. 
All right. I lied, I'm not getting rid of much in this drawer at all. Okay, we have the Urban Decay Naked Palette, which I know is so old, but I cannot get rid of. Then we have the Naked 2, same thing. Naked 3. Naked Heat. And Naked Cherry. And then we also have the Born to Run palette. I don't use this one enough, but I, it is a nice palette, so I'm gonna keep it. Whew, my back, y'all. All right, I have two from Nabla. I have the Secret palette. I actually used this one today. And then the Dreamy palette, I love this one. So I'm gonna keep both of those. All right, we have the Nubian by Juvia's Place. I'm gonna keep that. All right, and then from Huda Beauty, we have the new Nude and the Mercury Retrograde. Do love both of those. All right, and then lots of minis. I'm keeping, I think, all of these. So we have the Ruby Obsessions, the Amethyst Obsessions, Mauve Obsessions, Smoky Obsessions. Then we have the Nude Medium and Nude Rich. All right, then we have the Jouer Rose Gold Matte and Shimmer Palette. Keeping that one. Lawless The One, keeping that. And Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna see if I can move the camera because I'm having a really hard time seeing what is on the screen and making sure I'm showing you guys what I'm trying to show you. So I'm gonna see if I can move the camera real quick. All right, you guys, I hope this angle is okay. I moved you to the side of the drawer. I was really struggling trying to see what was on the viewfinder. So like, here is the drawer. So, again, I don't know that I'm getting rid of anything in this drawer. I know I have more palettes I want to get rid of, but okay, Natasha Denona, we have the Star Palette. I really like this one. Then we have the Metropolis. The Gold Palette. The Lila Palette. Tropic palette, the Safari palette, and the Biba palette. We also have the Love palette and the Sunrise palette. If I was to get rid of one of my Natasha Denona palettes, it would be this one just because of how warm tone it is. But I do like a lot of the purpley shades, the pink, so I do want to keep this for a little bit longer and get some more use out of it. Too Faced Gingerbread Spice. Too Faced Sweet Peach. Uh, I think I might get rid of this. I always go back and forth on it. I don't ever use it. This is one that was like super hyped and everyone loved and I just never really got it. I think I am going to pass that on. The Too Faced Semi Sweet. This one has been discontinued, I think, but it's also my favorite, so I'm not getting rid of that one. And then we have the original Chocolate Bar. I really like this one as well, so I'm going to keep that. All right, Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. It's probably time for this one to go in the trash. I've had this one a really long time, so I think I'm going to get rid of that. Then we have this Stila Matte and Metal. Um, I'm gonna keep this for, for now. I have two Tom Ford, pa Ford palettes. This one is Honeymoon. I don't know why I keep them in these sleeves. I just 
do. And then this one is my favorite. This one is Coco Mirage. Alright, then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Stars in Your Eyes palette. Love this one. The Kevin Aquan Nude Pop palette. This one was great. Marc Jacobs Stiletto palette. I love the I love the cool tones in here, so I'm definitely gonna hang on to that. And then this was the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. I know I had a lot of controversy, but I really like it. I actually used it the other day, so I'm gonna hang on to that. Alright. Next drawer. This one's kind of nuts. So, alright. This one is overflowing. There's just kind of palettes everywhere. So we have the Flower Beauty Sugar Rush palette. I like this one, but it's not my favorite, and I am keeping several other pink and purple palettes, so I'm going to pass that one on. Then we have the LA Girl Get Feverish palette. I do really like this one as well, but I think I have another LA Girl palette, maybe. Um, this one's just super warm toned and not something I usually go for. All right. Over here, we have the Tarte Clay Play palette. I really like this one, so I'm gonna hang on to that. This is super old. This came in one of their like big holiday sets with like a huge palette on one side, and then it had this little mini travel palette on the other side, but I do really like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Sorry about my nails, by the way. It is what it is. Tartlet in Bloom. Obviously, I really like this one, so I'm gonna keep that. Tartlet Toasted, however, is way too warm toned and orange for me, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And then the original Tartlet. Mm, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Alright, Lorac. So I've already gotten rid of the first one because it was just super old and I had used a lot of it, but this is the number two. Number three and number four. So I'm going to keep all of these. Then we have the Unzipped Desert Sunset. Again, super warm. I'm going to get rid of that one. Then we have the Lorac Unzipped. I'm going to hang on to this. This one is Estee Lauder and Violet. Violette? I don't know how you pronounce her name. I'm going to keep that. Then from Lime Life, Lime Light, I have a bunch of these. I am going to hang on to these because their shadows are like actually really incredible. So I'm going to keep these. All right, then more Lorac. This is the Lorac Mega Pro 4. This is just too pastel for me. I never really got into that one, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is the original. I'm going to get rid of this one as well. That's really hard for me, y'all. I really like Lorac. The Mega 2. I think I'm also going to get rid of this one. This makes me really sad. And then the Mega 3. I am going to keep this one for now. I think this one's the most neutral. And then we have the Tati Beauty Volume 1. Definitely keeping this guy. Will he stand up? No. All right, let's see here. All right, we have this e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Rose Water. I didn't really like this pink one, so I'm going to get rid of that, but I love this cream and sugar one, so I'm definitely going to hang on to that. We have this MAC and Cinderella palette. This I mostly just keep because it's Cinderella, so I'm going to hang on to that. Wet n Wild Silent Treatment. I'm going to keep it. It's pretty good. The Maybelline City Mini Palette in Blushed Avenue and the Revlon Palette in Enigma. I do like both of these. They're pretty good options for drugstore palettes, but I just, like I have said a million times, have a lot of pink and purple palettes. Don't really need those, so I'm going to pass those on. Then these Fenty ones, I love these. So this one is number one, number two, I don't know where to put these. Number four, I don't have all of them. And number six, I'm going to keep these. I really like those. 
All right, and then this row back here. I think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these things. Okay, I know I'm gonna get rid of all of these. So these are from Bad Habit, which I don't think exists as a brand anymore. Um, these were like dupe palettes, and all three of these are dupe for Pat McGrath palettes, but I'm gonna get rid of these. So this is Colt Mania, Colt Mystere, I don't think I've even touched this one. And Colt Mythos. So, gonna get rid of those. Then we have the Bad Habit Solstice. This is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. Gonna get rid of that. And then we have these two. I am torn on these. So these are supposed to be dupes for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold and Desert Dusk palettes. I don't know how to get these both in frame. Um, this one was the Rose Gold. This one was the Desert Dusk. They're not bad quality. They're actually pretty nice palettes, but I just don't think I need them. Again, I'm already keeping a lot of pink and purple, so I'm going to get rid of those. And then the Retro Love was supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia Subculture. Just not a huge fan, so I'm going to get rid of that. All right, then we have the Elsie the Minimalist Mauve Palette. I do really like that. I just got that, so I'm going to keep it. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, then from NARS, we have the Afterglow Eyeshadow Palette. Um, So it's not my favorite, but it's pretty new to my collection, so I'm going to keep it for now. And then the NARS Skin Deep Palette. I love this one. So definitely going to keep that. All right. Then we have the Stila Eyes are the Window Palette in Seoul. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. That one I have had for a long time. I really love it, but I think it's time to pass it on. All right. L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Palette. I think I'm going to keep this one. I do really like that. And then we have the J-Cat Red Carpet Premier Palette. I also think I'm going to keep this one for now. Then we have the Catrice Paradise Desert Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I'm going to hang on to this one for a little bit longer. I don't use that one very often. I need to use that more. Okay, Milani Most Love Mattes. I do really like this palette and like the quality of these shadows, but I think I'm going to pass that one on and I'm going to keep this Bold Obsessions one. Trying to make all this stuff fit. I don't really know the best way to do this. All right, this is Charlotte Tilbury, the Golden Goddess Quad. I'm gonna hang on to that. Then I have two Viziarts. This is number five, Sultry Muse, and then number one, Neutral Matte. I'm gonna keep those. And then we have the Viziart Rose Edit. Palette. Definitely going to keep that. And then the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette. This one's so old, but I am definitely going to keep it. So, all right. This is the last drawer. I know the angle's not great, but we're almost done. All right. From the balm, we have the Alternate Rock Volume 1. This one looks really nice, but I haven't touched it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass it on. Then we have the Ace Beauté Palette in Scarlet dusk. I also haven't touched this one. This just looks way too bright for me. It's a lot brighter in person than it's showing up on the camera. So I'm going to pass that one on. Then we have the Ace Beauté Grandiose palette. I like this one, but I don't use it enough, so I'm going to pass that one on. Then we have the Pure Festival palette. This one's fun, but again, I just don't use it, so I'm going to pass that one on. Sydney Grace Enduring Love. I do really like this palette. This one's pretty new to my collection also, so I'm definitely going to keep that. Glam Light Alondra Desi palette. I am going to pass that one on. But the Glam Light Masterpiece palette, I think I'm going to keep. All right, Butter London. This one doesn't have a name. This is a really nice palette, actually, but 
I don't need it, so I think I'm going to pass that one on. The Violet Voss Essentials Palette, I'm going to pass that one on. I haven't used that one at all. Physician's Formula Rose All Play. This one's okay, but it's not great, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then the Violet Voss Taupe Notch Palette. Love that one, so I'm going to keep that one. All right, these are all the palettes I'm getting rid of, so I'm going to count them real quick. All right, I'm getting rid of 46 eyeshadow palettes. I know that's not a lot compared to what I have, but it's pretty good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.